sugar boogers welcome back to the channel so we are here with another part of let's play the sims 4 get together so right now it is about 8 43 in the morning on a thursday and caleb is downstairs cooking some breakfast for rossi so he has the next two days off and he's kind of trying to plan a special occasion for rossi um I'm, i was gonna maybe aim for a friday night you know and the the nightlife is popping and everybody's just going out and having a good time but i really do think caleb wants to do something a little more quaint and intimate so he's kind of thinking of maybe dinner and a movie tonight um he's gonna go take her out at trans zen bar and grill and then later maybe to the golden regal theater um which i think is nice like i said he's trying to show rossi that you can have a good time being a um, in a relationship and living this life like you don't need to always go out and party hardy in the whole nine do you get what I'm saying like he's really trying with her and if she doesn't start realizing what she has soon you know he's not gonna sit here and you know twiddle his thumbs and, and acting like a fool like he's just not gonna do it so he uh called Rossi and Rossi needs to like totally wake up I'm gonna have him just kind of pause for a second maybe make some coffee wait we don't have a coffee pot so I guess we're not making coffee but he can at least get out some milks or juice or something like that let's get out a couple milks um you know to be able to set the table and little dude is actually at school right now um, and he is just working very hard on his studies and, you know, trying to be one of the top kids in his class. Let's still go ahead and grab another one. Seriously, Caleb is such a sweet guy. Like he really, really, really is. I totally adore this guy so much. And even though he's a big brute and he seems like he'd probably <laughs> rake you in two, um, he has a really big heart and I know that he really does care a lot about her. So he's going to come up and give her a uh, kiss or a caress her on the cheek. Now they aren't even dating but tonight is the night that Rossi or not Rossi but Caleb is going to try to ask Rossi to be a little bit more and to actually give this relationship a real try for the sake of their their family because that's what they have right now and uh, we'll see if Rossi accepts or declines because right now like I said Caleb and, and Rossi seem to have a pretty good relationship I mean they're almost full bars on everything so I don't see why she would be so hesitant I do feel and I'm going to say it again and for those who are not enthusiastic about it but I do believe because Julian was her first love it is a really 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 hard thing for her to get over and I don't know why that should bother anybody um why somebody else's feeling should bother anyone you know what I mean like it's just how she feels so what is she supposed to do about it either way it doesn't matter um tonight isn't about that it isn't about you know past relationships or anything like this it's about starting something real and you know the sky's the limit it truly is where did you grab that out of he like totally grabbed it straight out of her colito it looked like but i'm gonna let her go ahead and grab some as well oh she already has some perfect well they should go sit down and, and drink their milks and stuff so let's go do that because caleb like he went the extra mile to go and, and and to get that for her um so one of the things i really wanted to focus on guys is also jobs you know somebody mentioned Jenny you really don't focus on jobs and it is true I don't I don't I just don't it's I hate I hate the concept of you know Sims going out and working but you know what? unfortunately they do need to have that that Fetty is that dinero so to kind of aid with it um and give Caleb a social life that he deserves to be quite honest I did put him in a group which is perfect because this is get together and he's in the powerhouses so he'll be able to get to know um Paulo and Clara and Marcus and hopefully maybe at some point he can actually become the leader of the powerhouses that's a goal i would like to tap base on i mean since that is one of the functions so i did buy a perk point too mind you and i feel like this is an actual like clubhouse that i mean obviously he's level 10 in the fitness like if anybody should be the leader it should be this dude i mean he's like arnold schwarzenegger <laughs> like pretty much like his cousin okay twice removed um but i did get a perk point uh, basically making them a popular club you know and then at, at some point oh they already have the fist bump Oh, well, I don't, I already got one, right? Yeah, I already got it. So they have like the fist bump too, which is cool. I didn't buy that. I guess that was already there. And it looks like they also get a fitness boost already um, because they are a fitness club. They also get an energized club vibe. 
And they all have a trucker hat, which is super duper freaking cute. So I would love for him to actually be the leader at some point. You know, maybe overthrow Marcus. I don't know. Maybe Marcus would like to retire at some point. But that's just, you know, neither here nor there. But uh, Rossi, I know, I know this guy is growing on her. And I know she, she cares. I think she just might be afraid of messing it up, which is totally fine. But Caleb is just going to continue to, you know, try to love her as much as he can, even though she's a really hard person to um, get close to. She really is. She really, really really is one of the things you guys had mentioned <laughs> um look at that gi jean uh one of the things you guys had mentioned is about wrapping up all the girls you know rosa um uh Isabella, maybe even Sonia. I don't know how many Sims you can have, but Newcrest actually opened up a new local family photo shop. So that would be really cool to get some family photos of all the girls and things like that. But I'm not going to focus it on this part. I probably will um, in the next one. It's just something I think would be really cute to have, like a memorabilia, because Rosa is getting a lot older. Holy shiz. We owe $1,000. Oh, God. And we're supposed to go out tonight, you guys. What are we going to do? We don't have the money. Um, okay, so... Oh, my God. Okay, he, Caleb really wanted to take her out tonight. So he's going to have to go out and he's going to have to hustle. I don't know how exactly he's going to make this up, but we need to get a couple thousand dollars. So he's going to go and... Uh, I guess go find a way to make some money here um, for being able to take her out and stuff like that. What is she doing? She's going upstairs. She's going to go wash the dish in there. Okay, so he's going to come upstairs and, like, kind of say goodbye to her really quick. Um, you know, just say that he has to go to work or whatever the situation is. He's not going to complain about the bills. He wants to be the guy that takes care of everything. Do you know what I mean? He isn't going to sit here and let his family go without lights and all that kind of stuff. He's going to make something of himself, you guys. Just watch. Like, he is going to make this woman proud. He loves her. This is the love of his life right here and uh his son is is the greatest reason really he loves that boy for everything that he has you know it's his little mini me um i really wish she would get off the pot though for like a hot second just a hot second like that's it but, you know i can't i can't i can't i can't like interrupt her midstream but i kind of want it um i'm gonna brighten her day and uh let me see if i can go ahead and give her a kiss goodbye just real quick um let me see. Kiss on cheek? Is that a possibility? Whisper seductively. <laughs> Let me whisper in your ear. I'll tell you some things you might like to hear. Look back at him. Look back at him. You know the one thing I did notice is Caleb don't have a booty. Hank? Handsome Hank? He had booty for days. It would shake in 55,000 different ways. I'm just playing. Um, one of the things I wanted him to do too was also plant. Uh, for he's harvesting you guys like he doesn't care money is money as long as it's green and it's mean you know what I mean <laughs> I'm gone Jen whatever um yeah he just needs to figure out ways to get some cash here but he wants to plant some uh, flowers for her too as well um that's just one of his things that he really wants to do so there's a lot of cool harvestables here um that we can grab I mean like only if in real life you know you're short on the bills or you needed to pay something you go out and pluck a couple mushrooms and sell them <laughs> I mean really but tonight um I really I want him to like dress up and like get a makeover to um I don't know if Camellia's boutique has anything see ask Rossio to be his girlfriend y'all don't think I understand the sims but I do I know when the time is right and it's perfect because this is exactly what he wants I think Rossi should work on something like she is a stay-at-home mom and and that's fine and, and painting kind of was her thing but I don't want to do too much of that you know in the sims 3 for rather I really do feel like in my heart that's kind of lavender's thing and should stay lavender's thing um so maybe getting her into something a little bit different you know maybe like writing uh, books I've always wanted to be a, com a successful author or something like that in the sims 4 I just it's it's work <laughs> it is work son um so I'm gonna let her like write a children's book or something tigers don't take naps sure um I was also gonna do something about the boogeyman I forgot what it's called in uh, oh my god is he sick He's nauseated from catching frogs? What? <laughs> That's silly, Caleb. How could you be nauseated from catching a rana? Oh, my God. This guy, he is... <laughs> <laughs> Rossi, if you don't snatch him up like a weave, I will. I'm just saying it. I mean, like, really, though. Um, he comes a dime a dozen. Oh, my God. All right. Let's see if there's anything else. That one's sneaky. Sneaky. Um, okay. I don't think there is anything. Let's just go and um, find out how much this stuff is worth. Okay, so we're going to sell the huevos, um, and then this frog here is a hypno frog. I guess this is the one that probably made him sick. I could, like, collect the eggs or whatever, like, you know, I really want to. I'm, like, too off in my personal game. 
Um, but, you know, right now, getting some fedias is just the main prerogative. And, of course, um, well, that didn't really do a dent now, did it? Oh, my God. Well, here's another. No. I need to, like, get money, and I don't have a place to do it. Like, even if I was to take out a loan or something, there's no loans to be had here. There isn't. Um, okay, Caleb, what do we do now? What do we do? Seriously, do we go to Rosa and ask for some money? I would never do that. And if I did, he, she would be freaking pissed. Like, Rossi would probably break my in half, okay? I don't know, you guys. We're just going to have to deal. Um, I was going to have him hustle for some other ways to make money. I don't really know the other ways he can make money. Um, in The Sims 4, exactly. Uh, what else? What other skills does he have, like, gen generally? Um, no, there's nothing else to really be out here. Okay, so what kind of skills does Caleb have? Does he have any, like, handiness skill or anything? Like, maybe he can build a couple things. Um, uh, no, his fishing skill's kind of low, too. He really doesn't have a lot. I mean, he can do some mixology, but not really. I mean, the poor guy, he's a brute. That's all he knows. I guess we're just going to have to worry about it when the time comes. I'm not going to sit here and freak out about it. You know, I got some money to take her out, and whatever happens, happens from this point, you know? I mean, if our bills get shut off, our bills get shut off. Like, we're really struggling right now. Um, why am I stuck in this hole? <laughs> I'm like, what is this? Uh, what is this? All right, so let's go home and use the restroom. I thought she put away the food. Like, honey, we can't be wasting, we can't be wasting anything right now. How's the story coming along? She also wants to freshen up in the mirror, and she wants to join a new club. Of course she does, because she really just wants to be, you know, a part of that lifestyle, which is a little unfortunate. And mind you, you know, Caleb knows about the whole Julian thing. He found the photo, but he isn't going to make a big deal about it. He respects Rossi enough to understand that that's her past. And if she wanted to, there's nothing really holding her back. Like, she could continue to, you know, go back and forth and do whatever she wants to do. Like, he doesn't own her. But it does look like Romeo invited over a new, a new classmate named Kelvin. So let's go ahead and see what his new friend looks like. That is so cool. Oh my god, I would love for Mr. Romeo with the freaking serious brows to have a really cool new friend. Alright, here's Kelvin. He's actually a really cute little kid, and they're really good friends. Um, let's go ahead and invite him in. That is so sweet. I love it. Uh, oh my god, I really, really do. I do want to give Kelvin a serious makeover, even though I love his eyeliner and it is strong enough to, you know, stab a man, but more sharp enough, rather. I think that he should, you know, I mean, I'm all about kids being them, but, you know, that's, you know that ain't on, you know that ain't on purpose, okay? Uh, we're gonna talk, we're gonna monkey around and, um, talk about favorite animals. I would love for Romeo to have, like, a best friend, so when he gets older, like, he just has somebody who knows, really, you know? Um, where this could lead, but that's cool. I like that. Okay, so let's go see what, uh, oh, she's bored doing this freaking child's book. I'm actually gonna have her finish it. Um, all right, so where is my Caleb right now? He's kind of sleepy. I am going to let him rest, because around about five or six or so, that's kind of what I was hoping we would go ahead and, um, head on out. He wants to level up in the cooking skill. Yeah, he definitely, um, isn't the best when it comes to cooking, but he tried, you know? He really, really did. So let's have him go, uh, take a quick nap, and then we'll go downstairs and kind of freshen him up a little bit and, you know, get him all ready for tonight. Who the freaking hell are you texting? Okay? I'm all, I'm over your shoulder. I'm hovering. <laughs> you know? Like, I feel like sometimes she texts Julian on the low, but she don't like to tell nobody about it. You know what I mean? She's sneaky like that. All right, Pandora. It's been a bit since you, what? Since I listened to Keys and Crates. Um, give it some love today. Yeah, I know. It has been a minute. <laughs> That's kind of weird that they send you stuff like that. Okay, so now she can self-publish books. Perfect. Oh, I like that. What are you doing? What are you swinging your fingers around for? Does she need to take a nap or anything? No, 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 no. I'm going to let her finish creating this book, I guess. Um, and then, you know, whatever. We'll get ready for, well, she kind of is already ready, you know. It's just like, a, what, who made the tacos? Rossi made the tacos? I didn't even see her make them. Aw, but Romeo's going to eat some tacos. He's so cute. He is adorbs. Where's Kelvin? Oh, he's sitting on the couch. Why didn't you invite and ask your buddy for some, if he wanted something to eat? God, Romeo, way to be freaking, like, way to be greedy, dude. Seriously. All right. I think just a little bit longer on the rest front. How about Rossi? No, she's good. She doesn't even need to rest at all. Um, I mean, she didn't really do much today. He did all the freaking running around. So let's go ahead and... Uh, Go inside and tell her, um, honey, you're staring at a blank screen. I don't know if you realize that or not, but there's nothing 
on the screen. Okay, she just finished. Well, Caleb wanted to come in here real quick and and uh, try to, like, get her attention. Rossi, dude, seriously, come here. Because we have, like, probably an hour until we're leaving, just so you know. Okay, what the hell? I hate when Sims just do what they want to do. It's kind of irritating. Like, I'm trying to have you guys do a certain something, and the both of you are just not listening right now. Seriously. I need to, like, turn off, like, um, free will or whatever, maybe. I don't know. All right, there she comes. There she comes. All right, so let's go over there and give her a freaking hug and embrace. Okay, we're going to actually ask her on a date, too. That's going to be, like, the whole shabang. I am going to uh, kind of, what am I going to do? I'm going to give her a quick kiss and let her know that we have a half an hour now until we need to leave. Um, and we're going to go take her out on a date. And I know she isn't aware of the, the situation at hand, so hopefully tonight won't be too expensive. But either way, it should be a good time. And they honestly deserve it like Rossi hasn't really been out that much since um giving birth to Romeo so I think I think personally she she deserves it you know I guess I could say that um I don't think she has I can't really remember if I I might be wrong honestly but um I don't remember her doing so I'm gonna have her go upstairs and freshen up here in the mirror because she wanted to do that so let's go ahead and change her outfit into um her everyday wear and then we are going to have her freshen up in the mirror as well all right, so let's go ahead and just let them do what they need to do. I might actually end up changing her outfit as well. I'm not exactly sure. We'll see what we what we um, end up with when we get down there because I kind of want her to look hot and sexy for tonight too. I mean, she does. She doesn't need to like show, you know, cleavage to do that. But why does that keep happening? It like keeps showing the sky. It's weird. I don't know. All right, so this is Caleb's everyday wear. We're going to a bar and grill. So it's not going to put him into anything super fancy. Um, I am going to give him a second everyday outfit. And this one's just going to be a little more like dressier. Now, Caleb, honestly, he isn't no fashionista. He is like super duper like low key. <laughs> He's just, you know, he doesn't get dressed nice. He wouldn't even know the first thing about it, to be real with you. But um, he tries, though. That's the thing about him. He tries. I like this. This looks good on him. So we'll do that and then maybe give him a pair of slacks or, gosh, slacks on him look like tights. <laughs> like, see, he has no butt at all. It's flat, like straight down like a sea slope. Sea slope? Ski slope. I thought my speech impediment was like just yesterday, but apparently it's going strong, guys. I like this. This looks cute. So for Rossi, her every – I like this one, too. Uh, you know, like we really don't need to like eh. – all right, I guess I could give her a second everyday outfit too, you know, just to be a little more, you know, I don't know, um, more sexalicious for a galicious XPL atocious. I don't even know how to say that. Um, but is it me or did she like – she gained some weight though. But you know what? I, mama look good. I like it. I like her. Like she, she definitely did. Obviously, she gave birth to a baby, but I like it because it's so freaking realistic. <laughs> like obviously, after you have kids, you get, you gain a little weight, and that's okay. But I like it. I like it. It looks good on her. Um, she carries it well. So let's see what we can do to sexify her up a little bit. This seriously reminds me of the plastics. Ah, it really, 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 really does. Um, oh, I like this outfit too. Like this one or something of this sort. Even though this one kind of gives her a diaper butt. But that's okay. Um, this one Isabel is actually wearing right now. But it looks really, really cute and bohemian. I like that. So let's see what Rossi could wear. Uh, for tonight, that's actually really cute, but I was thinking of like, um, some sort of like sexy dress or something like that. Like I said, something to, um, I don't know, just dress up a little. I really do love the black, um, one. This one's pretty too, the red. Ooh, I like the red. Okay, so let's do the red. Let's pick out a nice fresh pair of pumps. I'm kind of thinking the Valentino inspired ones would be really, really nice. Um, the ones with the studs. So let me go and see if I can find those really quick like this. I think this would be nice. But the thing is, is I need to get some nude ones or something that maybe don't blend in with her skin so well. Um, black is good too. I mean, black kind of goes with everything. So for her nails, I am going to go ahead and give her maybe a matte shade. We'll do, I guess, those. And then for her labios, I kind of want to change up her lipstick. It's not that I don't like this lipstick. I do. Uh, I just want to use something a little bit different on her for tonight. Here are these lipsticks. Seriously, this looks like this girl drank a whole bunch of Kool-Aid. <laughs> it doesn't look good on her lip shape. It would look good on a specific lip shape. I mean, it doesn't look bad. Actually, it doesn't look bad at all from afar. Okay. <laughs> I love how I totally was talking mad mess about it, and then I ended up, like, going with it. So I think tonight will be a really fun night for the two of them, um, just to let loose and reconnect a little bit. 
um, and appreciate each other is the biggest thing. I think it would be just like a really good time and, and I don't know, we'll see how it ends up turning out. We need to get that hell out of here right now because um, to be honest with you, uh, we're supposed to end this part in like five more minutes. So right, 10, 20, 30, five, yeah, mm -hmm. just about. So we're gonna get everybody dressed and ready to go. Caleb is still walking around in his chonies with the kisses on the butt, <laughs> with the besos on the culito, uh, but we should get him in his everyday outfit and holler out. So let's go have uh, the two of them go outside. Okay, she can stop voguing in the mirror. That would be beautiful. Thank you. All right, so there she goes. And look at them. They're kind of matching. I didn't even think about it. They are. They're so cute. <laughs> they are totally matching. Let's go ahead and take a photo because this is actually really cute. Um, Take a photo with Caleb. Uh, and let's see here. All right, come on, Rossi. <laughs> I like how they tap him on the shoulder. I wish that when you're like in a romantic relationship, you would, um, oh my God, dude. Seriously, this woman, she's so sexy. Um, I wish when you're like in a romantic relationship, though, they would do like kissy faces and stuff like they did in like The Sims 3, I think it was. I can't really remember. So Caleb's going to go and ask her out on a date. I love that he's still... Um, can prove, I think it's called chivalry, chivalry, I can't even say the freaking word, but you know, <laughs> whatever, chivalry ain't dead, I can't even say it without sounding like a weirdo, <sighs> I don't know, you guys, seriously, I'm not gonna lie to you, like, uh, I'm not gonna even say it, <laughs> I'm just not, I ain't gonna put my foot in my mouth, um, alright, so here we are, going to transcend bar and grill, you better believe that they're going to be in their new outfits. I don't know why it's showing up with that. But basically, it's not a functioning restaurant. But I feel like um, we can hire a caterer for $100. Oh, God, that's so much money. <laughs> uh, and then they can, like, make stuff, and then we can eat it, you know, whatever. So we'll hire a caterer for 100 bucks here at the grill. Um, and then there should be, like, a barista, too, if we want to get drinks as well. So, like, if we'll, you just come over here and we're like, hey, let's go ahead and hire staff. We'll hire a... Oh, we can hire Rosa. Oh, we should get like a family discount. All right, so a caterer will come over just shortly and start cooking up a storm. So let's go over here and uh, we are going to sit together. Wait, yes. Um, let's go ahead and sit together. I, I really I really wish though, like, I, I noticed not so much as it used to be. Like, um, how do you say? Uh, when the get-together first came out, like, the Sims would go, like, in a pod with each other. And then I noticed it's, like, not like that so much anymore. But anyway, it was just, like, an observation that I had. But I just love the two of them. I'm starting to really love them. But I know there's so many of you who totally are still, like, into jewels and all that jazz. And I get it because I am too. But I'm also over it at the same time. It's kind of hard to explain. So let's go ahead and order a drink. I'm going to order my favorite drink. And then um, she's going to go ahead and order her favorite drink. Uh, the two of them, and then this guy is cooking up some grub, so we'll be able to go ahead and grab a serving together and all of that kind of cool stuff. So this is a really fun time to be able to get out on the town and, and relax a little. So let's go ahead and brighten day. Um, we are going to talk about cooking. We're also going to give him a heartfelt compliment and tell him basically that we appreciate him, you know, thinking of us and, and, and going the, the lengths to do what he's doing right now, which is really awesome. So this lady is not making our drinks, which is great. I just, I love her oh so much. Like I hate when they like somehow forget your um, order or whatever the hell it is. I don't really know, but hopefully Rossi will at least get her drink here in just a brief moment. All right, there she goes. She got her drink. That's pretty exciting. Um, let's go ahead and drink that. And then Caleb, ooh, Kitty, are you okay? <laughs> oh my God, you just fell out the window. <laughs> is you drunk or not? He, he's just partying like a rock star. Oh, Sonia. God, seriously, girl. Oh, now I match her too. What the freaking hell? Seriously, Rossi is a lot like her mother, more than she would probably ever like to admit. Okay, cool. So what happened to my drink? Oh, they're actually starting to hash it out and give loves and hugs and all that kind of stuff. That's cool. I'm cool with that. All right, so where the hell is Caleb's drink? I do not like this bartender. She sucks. Oh, my God. What did he get? Like a martini? Ooh, a Simmetpolitan. Very nice. Okay, I know it ain't no f f 17 minutes until this is over. So we're going to be a little flirtatious, and we're also going to um, blow kisses, and we are going to also compliment her appearance a little bit. They're just having a really good time right now. That's pretty much it. I'm not really too worried about this, but kind of, maybe a little bit. What is your problem? Oh, my God. Seriously? Oh, my God. The Sonia and uh, Caleb thing. 
Whatever, dude. Whatever. I don't even know why. Ah, she just slapped him. Are you freaking kidding me? There's nothing going on between me and you, you freaking crazy bat lady. Seriously. Oh, no, 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 Rossi. Don't get mad. Don't get mad, sweet pea. Okay, don't. Because your mother's crazy. She's loca. She doesn't. Oh, my God. Freaking Caleb. He can't do nothing right. I swear to you. He just can't. But hopefully it won't ruin the day. Um, let's see. We are going to go ahead. And, are we hungry at all? Are we hungry? A little bit. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick our poison. We've got BLT. We've got some black and bass, which is going to be basically black and ass if freaking uh, Caleb keeps making out with uh, Rossi in front of the mother. That's so gross, dude. I don't even know how that happened. I don't know. Like, I'm totally down for, like, story progression on your own. But really? Your girl's mother? Like, what the hell is wrong? All right, he's going to put down that drink. He's kind of had enough. They're going to grab their serving of black and bass and sit down and eat it, I guess, at the bar. After this, I think the two of them are going to go um, head over to the uh, movies, maybe for a little, um, you know, secret one-on-one. -on -one. I think that'd be really nice anyway. How much money? Oh, my God. We have seriously blew so much of our money. It's almost kind of freaking ridiculous. Like, I, have, I honestly can't even. <laughs> we, are, we are broke, you guys. Seriously, we are so freaking broke. We need to get, the, get her flirty, but it's kind of hard at this kind of a scenery. So I'm trying to just end the date on a good note if I can, um, at least by finishing, like, the main socialized goal or whatever. Um, I'm going to go up to her and uh, ask her to be our girlfriend. Yes? No? Okay, we can wait. We'll wait on that one. All right, so basically that's kind of like what the date. It's a gold medal. I'm just going to go ahead and end the date early. Um, which is fine. I mean, it wasn't the most successful date ever, but hey, it was pretty good. And uh, I'm going to go to the movies, I guess, and take her out in a movie because we were like not having, I mean, it was nice. It worked out perfectly, like with the, you know, having the caterer and all that kind of stuff. So that's not my complaint. I think that actually was really a nice little touch there, but um, the whole Sonia thing. It's just a packed bar. Like, seriously, I thought 30, uh, there's 30 nights. Thursday night was going to be a little more, um, relaxed, but did he ask her out? Oh, no, he didn't. Okay. I thought he was totally asking her out right now. I'm like, no, just wait like two seconds. All right. So where we're going to go is to Oasis Springs, just a city over. And we are going to go over to the Golden Regal Sigma. 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 <laughs> Sigma. That one. And we're going to watch a movie, have some pop pop, and then... Who knows? Because Caleb's an old man and he's already exhausted and wants to go home and go do the meme. Um, so we'll go ahead and pick up in the next part with their date and we'll see kind of how it goes um, from here. Like, obviously, I mean, I'm not going to rush through it or anything. I want to take my time and um, maybe I'll be able to even green them up a little bit so that they're not like total freaking saps and like falling asleep in their chairs. But I just thought it would be a really cute little um, episode to have them, you know, kind of try to strengthen their bond. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, so definitely leave some comments and suggestions in the uh, you know, down bar, whatever the hell it's called, you know, where the sun doesn't shine sort of thing. And don't forget to, I think, what, what else are we saying? What else are we saying, Jennifer? Don't forget to go ahead and comment and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun doesn't shine. And I will see you all next time. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> Something like that.